Good evening. Cheers tonight. How we doing? A couple of days since the last uh, shave. So tonight I'm going to be having a shave with the Shaving Time Company Broadside, which was a limited edition soap made for the company by Lather Brothers from uh, Miami Lakes in Florida. And it's, you can see that it's made by Lather Brothers. It's basically a variation on their El Cabrero soap, which is basically it's bare rum. So that's the, the tub. There's the soap, it's it's not hard. You've got nothing there. Nice bit of spice to that though. So that's the soap for the night. The brush is a Simfix handle of the NAP Shave Company synthetic knot 24mm the blade I'm seeing how far I can push this blade before I bin it is the Jurette New Old Stock Czech made Jurette Stainless Red which is now in its seventh shave and there's the blade and the razor for tonight is the Rockwell 6S on plate number three. So Rockwell is basically it's a three-piece razor. You see different different base plates for adjust, adjustment. It's not adjustable. I'd say it's a an adjustable razor system. So it's not that easy to adjust. So top cap. Blade goes on. Basically, the number you can see at the bottom there is the setting of the base plate you're, that is in use. You get three base plates, they're numbers one and three, two and four, and five and six. So that's it there, it's a stainless steel razor. There is a, a Zamac version of this available, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the best bang for buck razors in the market. So, there's the razor, there's the soap. So, there's the soap. So, well, I've never used this soap before. Never used a lot of the soap before. So, we'll see how things. It's got a good sense of strength straight from the tub, must have met. Uh, it did get some pretty good reviews, the uh, El Cabrero, when it was available. I think they're now, I think it's now at El Barbaro, Barber Shop. Bit of room that they uh, have. So, you can see the soap itself is coming up, getting into the, the tips of the brush, just slowly working it round just to gather the soap off the top of the puck. That'll do. The ingredients on the soap are on the side of the tub there, so you want to see what they are. Just pause it. And I'll basically scrape off the top of the puck. Paint on what we've got into the bristles and take it from there. So, as your week going, 40% of the way through, working week for me anyway, Monday to Friday. So, home to take tomorrow, get through that, and it's downhill at the weekend. So there we go. All I'm doing now is I'm going to treat this painting water into the lava just to give it a drink.
and distribute it evenly across the face. So you can see there, the soap's got a bit translucent, so it's probably got enough water. So I can spray the brush, I take the brush and push it down so it splays. And just work it in a circular fashion. <coughs> to build a lava. Nice winter said this, with it being a bit of spice, a bit of warmth in there. So I've never used beer rum before. So first shave with the beer rum. So I can't, nothing to compare it against. Yeah, happy with that. So a pretty good load on the face. There's a fair whack left in the brush. Could probably get a bit more water into it, but we'll see how it goes on the second pass. Bit of heat in the blade. So Rockwell, 6S, Gillette Red Stainless on shave number 7. Started to tug a little bit, I think the blades. Certainly no complaints about the soap. Got a piece of slow rose brisket in the oven at the moment, which is tea tonight. So it's going to get basically treated like pulled pork and get pulled apart, barbecue sauce, brioche buns. That's tea sorted. Yeah, pretty good. There's residual slickness there from the salt, even from the first pass. More than enough, you can feel on my fingers. So yeah. Yeah, the is it's going across nice, it's not the blade isn't jumping as it goes over because there's no lubrication between the skin and the blade.
Got a bit more water. So I'm just dip the tips of the brush again there, just to get a bit more moisture back in the soap. And again. with that. It's a work shave, just there. Happily just got to work on that. No problem at all. So winter scents. Anybody, anybody bought any Christmas the Christmas soap yet? See, still haven't got out. Christmas Eve, I think it's called. That's sold out in the UK already. Uh, Wickham of Franken Frankincense. If you can still get it, I think Connaught still have it. It's like a winter scented soap for Christmas. And there'll be a few others appearing on the market in the near future. to see the point of buying a tub of soap which will last you for six months for use in one day oh look we've got Christmas soap it's Christmas one day yeah where's the tub of soap will last you six months so hey it's all about marketing isn't it get the marketing right things sell themselves welcome to the 21st century
See off this part here, I'm going to just holding the razor with thumb and forefinger, so there's no pressure. Just literally the weight of gravity. And the weight of the razor, if you want to move it, just move it around. So bear rooms, most of, a bit like barber shop, most of the soap manufacturers have a bear room. What's your favourites? What do you think is the best on the market? When OSP reopened over the weekend, I was hoping to buy a, a bear room from him, but out of stock. And there's no stock anywhere in the UK, so it's all gone until James makes the next batch. There were a couple. I was looking to buy the one of the ones I wanted. No stock, so I didn't buy any. Save myself a bit of money. Yeah. More than happy. So I'm just gonna pull the soap out of the brush and see what sort of lather we've got. Yeah, that's a pretty good peak, I would say. So I'm going to have a face wash with this, get everything cleaned up, and we're back for the post shave. So, so see you in a minute. And we're back. So all I've done there is just cleaned everything up, taken this up off my face with some cold water, and uh, feels actually pretty moisturised, pretty good. Quite a good soap, that. So, right. Post shave, boots, witch hazel and tea, or tea tree and witch hazel, witch hazel and tea tree, depends, half, six of one, half dozen of that. And I'm going to follow that up with Nivea Two Phase. Shake and, spl shake and splash. And that, folks, ladies, gents, animals, whoever's watching, is that. Uh, so, quick recap for tonight's shave. We'll start off with the hardware first of all. Rockwell 6S, three piece razor with an adjust adjustable plate, plate system for different and varying blade caps. New old stock, check made, Gillette Red stainless on shave number seven. Still going, it's back in the pile, it'll get used again. Brush, semi fix handle, like a little chubby handle with a AP Shave Company 24mm Sinbad knot, a synthetic knot. And the soap, and probably the star of the shave if you're handing out prizes. The Shaving Time Broadside, made for the Shaving Time Company by. Lather Brothers in the States. Bit of rum, really nice soap. And we finish that off with Witch Hazel and Tea Tree, or Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, and Nivea Shake and Splash, two phase. You can see they're totally separated back in its relative, relative layers. That's us done for the night. So, thanks for watching. Any comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you. And uh, I'll see you in the next shave. Bye for now.